In today's episode, the menu is quite interesting. We are preparing these tasty delicious sushi balls and with me I have my ingredients. So as I mentioned, we are making some sushi balls, not the usual mince meat, and here I have some sushi. This is just some soya beans. I have my all-purpose flour. Then for the seasoning, we are going to season our balls with some onions, garlic, ginger, some coriander stems. I have my cooking oil, some turmeric, and some paprika. You will also need some hot water as well as some salt. We're going to start off by soaking our sauce in hot water so that you can have an easy time while preparing it. I'm going to let this sit here for about 5 to 10 minutes till the water is well absorbed. In the meantime, I'll be prepping my garlic and ginger. A couple of minutes later, our sauce has soaked enough, so I'm just going to squeeze off the excess water. Then I'm going to set it aside and we're going to use it later. I remember sauce is salty so uh, the salt that you are going to be adding is mostly going to be for the flour and the seasoning as well so I'll start by adding in a small pinch of garlic and uh, the rest will go into the sauce Then at this point, I'll go in with the flour to bind the balls. This texture is okay and I'm going to let this sit here for about 5 more minutes so that everything can blend in together. Then I'll be back to form our balls. A couple of minutes later, I'm back and we can now start preparing our balls. I'll start by greasing this. I'm also going to grease my hands.
going to be shallow frying them but you can also deep fry them So once you insert a toothpick or a skewer or a muiko and you see bubbles, that means that our oil is ready. I'm going to carefully place them 